Welcome back guys. In this video I'll be looking at 11.10 solving differential equations part 2. 11.10 represents chapter 11 section 10 of the Pearson A level maths pure maths year 2 textbook. Now in part 1 of the video I went through how to find the general solution to a differential equation by using the technique of separating the variables. In this particular video I'll be going through how to find a particular solution to a differential equation using the technique of separating the variables. Here is an exam style question. Find the particular solution to the differential equation dy over dx is equal to 3 over y cos squared x with boundary condition y equal 2 at x equal pi over 4. Give your answer in the form y equal f of x. Well ladies and gents, I'm going to start off by writing the differential equation. I've got dy over dx is equal to 3 over y cos squared x. The first step is to multiply both sides of this differential equation by dx to give me dy is equal to 3 over y cos squared x dx. The next step is to multiply both sides of this equation by y to give me y dy is equal to 3 over cos squared x dx. Now 3 over cos squared x is equivalent to 3 sec squared x. I've got the dx, I've got the y dy. Now I can get rid of the differentials on both sides of this equation by integrating both sides. The integral of y dy is just y squared over 2. The integral of 3 sec squared x dx is 3 tan x plus c where c is the constant of integration the next step is to work out c by substituting y equal 2 and x equal pi over 4 into this particular equation so substitute y equal 2 x equal pi over 4 if i do this i get 2 squared over 2 is equal to 3 tan pi over 4 plus c. Now 2 squared is 4 divided by 2 is 2. 3 multiplied by tan pi over 4 is just 1 plus c. So 2 is equal to 3 plus c. Hence c is equal to 2 take away 3 which is minus 1. Now I can write the whole equation again but with my c value. So I get y squared over 2 is equal to 3 tan x minus 1. I need to write my final answer in the form y equal f of x so I need to make y the subject. I can multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to give me y squared is equal to 6 tan x minus 2. Therefore y is equal to plus or minus square root 6 tan x minus 2. So the particular solution to the differential equation dy over dx equal 3 over y cos squared x with boundary condition y equal 2 at x equal pi over 4 in the form y equal f of x is just y equal to plus or minus square root 6 tan x minus 2. Here is another exam style question. Find the particular solution to the differential equation dy by dx is equal to 9x plus 6 in brackets multiplied by y to the power of third all over x with boundary condition y equal 8 at x equal 1. Give your answer in the form y squared is equal to f of x. I'll start off by writing the differential equation. So I have dy over dx is equal to 9x plus 6 in brackets multiplied by y to the power of third all over x. The first step is to multiply both sides of this equation by dx to give me dy is equal to 9x plus 6 in brackets multiplied by y to the power of third all over x dx. The next step is to divide both sides of this equation by y to the power of third. Doing this gives me 1 over y to the power of third dy is equal to 9x plus 6 all over x dx. Now, 1 over y to the power of 3rd can be rewritten as a y to the power minus a 3rd dy. 
equal to this fraction you can split into two parts 9x over x which is 9 plus 6 over x dx now I can get rid of the differentials on both sides by integrating both sides so I get the integral of y to the power minus a third dy is equal to the integral of 9 plus 6 over x dx now the integral of y to the power minus a third dy is just 3 over 2 y to the power 2 over 3 equal to the integral of 9 dx is 9x plus the integral of 6 over x dx is 6 ln mod x plus c the constant of integration the next step is to substitute y equal 8 and x equal 1 into here to work out c so sub y equal 8 x equal 1 into this particular equation to give me 3 over 2 in bracket 8 to the power 2 over 3 is equal to 9 multiplied by 1 plus 6 ln mod of 1 plus c now we know that ln mod of 1 is just 0 so we just simplify both sides and if we simplify we obtain the following result 6 is equal 9 plus c therefore c is equal 6 take away 9 which is minus 3 now I need to put this c back into uh, this equation to give me the following result 3 over 2 y to the power 2 over 3 is equal to 9x plus 6 ln mod x minus 3 I need to write my equation in the form y squared is equal to f of x so the first step is to multiply both sides of this equation by 2 doing this gives me 3 y to the power 2 over 3 is equal to 18 x plus 12 ln mod x minus 6 now I can divide both sides of the equation by 3 giving me y to the power 2 over 3 is equal to 6 x plus 4 ln mod x minus 2 now how do I actually go from y to the power 2 over 3 to y to the power 2 well I just need to apply power 3 on both sides so doing this gives me the following result y to the power 2 over 3 in brackets to the power 3 is equal to 6x plus 4 ln mod x minus 2 all in bracket to the power 3 remember laws of indices if you have an inside and outside power you can multiply them so 2 over 3 times 3 is just 2 so I can write y squared is equal to this particular expression 6x plus 4 ln mod x minus 2 in bracket to the power 3 therefore the particular solution to this differential equation with boundary condition y equal 8 at x equal 1 in the form y squared is equal f of x is just y squared is equal to 6x plus 4 ln mod x minus 2 in brackets to the power 3. If you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe.